What's up everybody, Edwin here for NE Fishing. Um, so I just realized that I never did a proper introduction for this video, so here it is. Uh, a while back I actually went down to Georgia and I stayed down there for several weeks uh, when the whole pandemic started because things were much better down there than they are up here in the tri-state area where I'm at. Uh, while I was there I got to do some fishing, uh, I got to do some great catfishing and uh, uh, on one of my last days, I actually uh, got to go out to the Alabama side um, where uh, I fished there with my brother-in-law, Derek, who, uh, uh, you know, he was gracious enough to uh, spend his day off um, and uh, take me out fishing on the uh, family uh, boat uh, on the Coosa River uh, in Alabama. If you're not familiar with the Coosa River, it's a great uh, body of water. It has uh, amazing bass fishing. Uh, great crappie fishing. There's catfish there, and I believe in certain parts you even get uh, striped bass. Um, so we actually head out there for the uh, for the day. We actually had a tough day, but we did kind of pull it off in the end. Um, we dealt with some really bad conditions. Uh, there were storms the night before where there was a lot of debris in the water. The water was pretty dirty. Um, and uh, as a backup, we tried to, uh, you know, we're going to fish for catfish. So we actually tried to catch some bait first uh, for catfish, as you can see by this clip. Got him. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Uh, Brim. Oh, catfish. Really? <laughs> there you go. It's a catfish. You found the catfish. Yeah, nice little channel cat. Yeah. There might be one, one more in there. Yeah, I would throw it back uh, right here. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, should I throw them right in here for now? Oh, wait, where's the, oh, this is the light bulb, right? Throw them right here. It's got a little bit of water. I mean, yeah, well, just for now, anyway. Yeah. That's funny. So as you can see, while trying to catch bait, I actually caught a catfish, and that was the only fish we caught. So uh, we broke for lunch, and then we went out again for the afternoon bite, went to the back of a creek where I kind of figured out what they finally wanted, um, and uh, uh, finally got into a couple of bass. Um, like I said, uh, unfortunately, this is just an uh, inkling of what that uh, river system has to offer, so hopefully I'll get to go back out there again and uh, enjoy some fishing. Uh, otherwise, in the meantime, uh, please enjoy the video. Um, saying hello from all the way up here in, uh, in the tri-state area to, uh, to uh, my sister Iris, uh, Silas, and Dason. I uh, hope you all guys are doing well. Hopefully we'll see each other again real soon. Uh, and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the video. Some come out. Oh yeah, some come out for it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Good fish. I hope it's a. I hope it's a spotted bass. Now looks like it might just be a largemouth. Good fish. Oh, come here. There we go. Nice. Nice. That yeah, large mouth. Very cool. Some come out from under there too. Get it. Nice. Oh, you know what? Just take a quick pick of that guy. All right. 
right. That was cool. I didn't even feel him. I just saw him come out of nowhere and, in, and it inhaled it. Yeah. Knew I had him. That's what I like about this rig. Like I said, you can really throw it in there, and uh, he was he was tied up in that in in there. So good fish. Little one. Very cool. <laughs> you got a branch. You got the structure. Very cool. Another nice little large mouth. Nice. Two point eight. That one. Another decent little bass. A little large mouth. Swim baits doing the trick. Little. All right. Uh, I think we have a pattern, and that pattern is. There in those little reeds. There we go. Another nice chunky little healthy bass. Got a pee, man? Yeah. Especially with the way the wind's blowing? Yep. Go ahead. Honestly, I don't have much experience using those. What's that? No <laughs> Oh, and <laughs> yep. Yep. Although right now this wind is really pushing. Well, we need to boost up the power here a little bit. This wind does not help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see why you would sit down. There's, sp there's spots out there that look like this. So, so this is my type of fishing. I, I, we have a we have rivers that look like this, so. I mean, not, well, no, no, we have rivers this big. Um, usually pretty good for uh, smallmouth bass. That's why I'm, I, I feel right at home in this type of fishing, honestly. Another little ice. Some, some come up for it. Another little bass. No, no little largemouth. 
Another nice little large mouth. There you go. What's the... Uh-oh. Oh! I oh. oh. got it there. Oh, right back at the dock, huh? What's that? That's the dock right there? Yeah. We're going to the dock? All right, everybody. Uh, so we just got back from the Coosa River in Alabama, uh, and it was an incredible place to fish. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of potential. Um, uh, we didn't catch any crappie or anything like that, but uh, I did find a small channel cat, and uh, I did find some bass, and, and there's definitely some really great bass fishing there. And uh, basically all I did was get a taste of what's there. Um, uh, I just realized that I never did a proper introduction for this video, but uh, I'll try to make up for that uh, uh, later on. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, had a great time while I was down there. I got to enjoy some Alabama fishing and uh, got into some largemouth bass action. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I think my time is up here, uh, down here in the in the in the southern part of the of the uh, nation. I think I'll start making my way back up north, where hopefully things will improve and be much better with this whole uh, pandemic that's going on. And uh, hope you all staying safe. And uh, hopefully we'll see when uh, I can get out there again and. Uh, make another video for all of you all right so uh hope you enjoyed thanks for watching don't forget to give this video a like share and uh please subscribe all that helps my channel grow all right and uh catch you on the next one see ya